Since the Baruto time skip, Momoshiki has been noticeably absent, with no appearances or mentions for about 15 chapters. This absence is particularly striking given his intense involvement in Baruto's life before the time skip. Despite Momoshiki's long-standing plan to take over Baruto's body, a scheme he orchestrated since embedding the Karma Seal, his efforts have seemingly failed. The Karma Seal was meant to allow Momoshiki to resurrect himself by using Baruto's body, restarting his plan to plant the divine tree and harvest the chakra fruit. At times, Baruto would lose control, allowing Momoshiki to seize his body through the karma, often threatening the safety of Baruto's loved ones. This power struggle between them intensified, as Baruto became increasingly aware of the danger Momoshiki posed. In a desperate attempt, to protect those he cared about, and to prevent Momoshiki from succeeding, Baruto made the ultimate sacrifice, choosing to be killed by Kawaki. This drastic decision seemed to thwart Momoshiki's plans, but the question remains, is this the end of Momoshiki's influence, or is he biding his time for another opportunity? Baruto's death would have resulted in the permanent extinguishment of Momoshiki's soul, much like what happened with Ishiki. In the world of Atsutsuki, a vessel not only serves as a receptacle for their soul, but also anchors them to the living world. Since Baruto is Momoshiki's most precious vessel, losing him would mean the end of Momoshiki's existence. Desperate to avoid this, Momoshiki intervened, using the portion of the karma seal that had yet to be fully extracted to save Baruto's life. At that point, the karma was already 82% extracted. If the remaining 18% had completed, Momoshiki would have been able to fully resurrect. However, resurrection would have been pointless without a living vessel. Left with no other option, Momoshiki used the remaining 18% of his data to reconstruct Baruto's destroyed organs, saving him from certain death. Ironically, this action also meant that Baruto absorbed a portion of Momoshiki's essence, further complicating Momoshiki's plans for resurrection. Thus, by saving Baruto, Momoshiki inadvertently prevented his own revival. As a result of these events, Momoshiki and Baruto seem more intertwined than ever, with their thoughts now crossing over into each other's minds. However, this was far from the end. Momoshiki's ominous prophecy that Baruto would lose everything was still looming, and it soon began to unfold. Ida, using her Shinjutsu ability, Omnipotence, altered reality by switching Baruto and Kawaki's positions. This made it appear as though Baruto was the criminal responsible for killing the Hokage, turning the entire world, including his loved ones, against him. Momoshiki saw this chaos as the perfect opportunity to finally take control of Baruto's body. However, his plan didn't go as expected. Despite losing nearly everything, Baruto's ironclad will and determination prevented Momoshiki from seizing control. With Sasuke standing by his side, offering unwavering support, Baruto refused to surrender his body to Momoshiki. This strength of character defied Momoshiki's expectations, showing that Baruto's resolve, even in the face of overwhelming loss, was more powerful than the Otsutsuki had anticipated. Momoshiki made numerous attempts to deceive Baruto into handing over his body, but each time, Baruto's resolve held strong, foiling the Otsutsuki's plans. After these repeated failures, Momoshiki seemed to vanish entirely, as that marked the last time we saw or heard anything about him. In the time skip following these events, Baruto's karma reappeared for the first time when it resonated with Kawaki's karma. However, it quickly became clear that Baruto could no longer control his karma, which was concerning since he had achieved near-perfect mastery over it before the time skip. Fans speculated on the reasons for this sudden loss of control, especially given how adept Baruto had become with his karma pre-time skip. It wasn't until 15 chapters into the time skip that we finally learned the reason for Baruto's inability to control his karma. The truth revealed a deeper complexity about the relationship between Baruto, his karma, and Momoshiki's lingering influence, one that hinted at unfinished business between them and the uncertain future ahead. In the newest chapter of Baruto, we learn more about Baruto's struggle with karma during a conversation between him and Kawaki. Two years prior, when Baruto and Sasuke encountered Code, Baruto attempted to use the karma. However, as he activated it, he experienced a terrifying sensation of being overtaken by Momoshiki. In that moment, Baruto felt as though he was no longer in control of his own body. He was still conscious, but felt like he was dying inside. This overwhelming fear and loss of control shook him deeply. Since that encounter, Baruto has refrained from using the karma entirely, fearing a repeat of that near possession by Momoshiki. This sheds light on why Baruto seemed unable to control his karma post-time skip. Despite his previous mastery, the trauma of almost losing himself to Momoshiki's influence left him reluctant to rely on the karma, adding another layer of complexity to his ongoing battle. Now we know that Otsutsuki can pass their abilities to their vessels through the karma, similar to how Jigen was able to utilize Ishiki's powers, like Sukunahikona, and how Kawaki inherited all of Ishiki's abilities, including Sukunahikona and Daikoku Ten. Kawaki has even been able to display Ishiki's Kokugan Dojutsu, further proving how much he has become like Ishiki. In fact, 
Kawaki has grown so in tune with Ishiki's abilities that he can activate the Koku Gun without using his karma, a testament to how deeply Ishiki's essence has taken root within him. However, in Boruto's case, we've never seen him tap into Momoshiki's specific abilities while in his karma state. Unlike Kawaki, who fully wields Ashiki's powers, Boruto's use of karma has mostly been limited to the boost in physical stats that the karma naturally provides, rather than gaining access to any of Momoshiki's unique techniques or powers. This contrast raises interesting questions about how the karma works differently for each vessel, and whether Boruto may yet unlock Momoshiki's abilities in the future. Momoshiki possesses a variety of powerful abilities, such as creating red chakra weapons, absorbing ninjutsu through the Rinnegan in his palm, and reflecting them back at his opponent with double the power. However, despite Boruto becoming a full Otsutsuki, he has yet to display any of Momoshiki's unique abilities. This absence has been particularly noticeable, especially when compared to Kawaki, who fully wields Ishiki's powers. This gap in abilities makes Boruto and Kawaki's conversation in the latest chapter even more significant. For the past three years, Boruto has refrained from using his karma, largely due to the trauma of nearly being overtaken by Momoshiki during his battle with Code. By refusing to use the karma, Boruto has prevented their thoughts from crossing into one another, effectively silencing Momoshiki. This prolonged quiet from Momoshiki suggests that Boruto's decision has not only shielded him from the immediate threat of possession, but may have also stunted his ability to tap into Momoshiki's full potential. The conversation between Boruto and Kawaki hints that this deliberate avoidance could have deeper consequences, both for Boruto's power growth and his unresolved conflict with Momoshiki. This might be a theory, but it's possible that Boruto is slowly transforming into Momoshiki, which could explain some of the subtle changes he's manifesting. The gloves Boruto now wears on his left hand could indeed be hiding the Rinnegan that Momoshiki had on his palms, a key ability that allowed him to absorb and reflect Jutsu. If Boruto is manifesting this power, it would make sense that he's trying to suppress it, possibly fearing that using these abilities could accelerate Momoshiki's control over his body. This theory also suggests that other abilities tied to Momoshiki could have awakened within Boruto, but he's deliberately avoiding them to prevent further manifestation of Momoshiki's essence. This could explain why Boruto has refused to use his karma for the past three years. The silence from Momoshiki during this time might not be because he's dormant, but rather because he's biding his time, waiting for the right moment to strike or to make his move. If Momoshiki Momoshiki is indeed cooking up a plan to take full control, Boruto's efforts to prevent that takeover become even more significant. It's likely we'll see Momoshiki again in the future, and whether his return is for a good or sinister cause remains to be seen. Either way, this theory points to a tense and inevitable confrontation between Boruto and Momoshiki. Hopefully Boruto's strong will and allies like Sasuke can help him prevent Momoshiki from fully taking over. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Boruto and Momoshiki's dynamic? Do you agree with the theory we discussed?